What's up guys? Uh, AA definitely has something cooking. I don't know what it is. Um, this move is very, 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 very strange to me. Trading Kyle Wright uh, to the Kansas City Royals for right-handed reliever Jackson Kolar, who was a big-time prospect coming out of Florida. Um, but his numbers? Mm -mm. Uh, the only thing I can think of is he has 75 strikeouts and 74 career innings pitched. Uh, he was 2-0 with a 643 ERA. Uh, last season, he does have an option, I believe. So, we obviously think that Kyle Wright's shoulder is absolutely the worst um, shoulder we've ever seen. Or, and it's going to be a long road. Um, and saving a little bit of money, I don't think you even save a lot um, non-tendering him. So, you get something for him, but... I don't necessarily see the value, but again, AA, I'm going to blindly trust him on this one um, because trying to find a positive spin is is hard on this one, but um, maybe it's a reclamation project and Jackson Carr changes scenery um, and, it, and we find lightning in a bottle. Uh, but at this rate, I'm going to have to pitch in 2024, uh, or 2025. Um, but there are a lot of star starting pitchers out there, and maybe, um, this is a way to do it. Um, but, um, thank you, Kyle Wright, for everything. 2022 was awesome, 21-5. and five. The 2021 World Series run, Game 4, that was stuff of legends um so i'm gonna trust aa on this one and welcome to the a jackson Kohar. and we'll see how this plays out i mean he has electric stuff but it just has not translated in any way shape or form but again they obviously saw something um, so I'm going to trust that. But as always, go Braves, champions forever. Thank you, Kyle Wright. Go kill it in Kansas City after you get healthy. And that's all we can ask for. And who knows what's down the line, but there are four open spots in the Braves roster. And I'm very, very, very intrigued to see what happens.